Meanwhile, central banks in South Africa and Nigeria are preparing to adjust their interest rates for the first time in years due to easing inflation. Furthermore, several other African countries, including Morocco and Ghana, are expected to follow suit with minor rate cuts to manage inflation. This move is supported by the anticipation of a U.S. interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve. Economics professor Walter Krichel provides insights on the matter. In South Africa, we are waiting for the Monetary Policy Committee to start an interest rate cutting cycle following several central banks worldwide that have already started. Factors such as political stability of the GNU, some economic growth in the second quarter, the August CPI inflation rate at 4.4%, a much stronger rand and lower fuel prices, as well as consumer and business confidence levels moving in the right direction, mean that a repo rate cut will now provide further support. Economists expect a 25 basis point cut. The markets are pricing in 30, and the rest of us are hoping for 50. Other African countries like Nigeria, Angola, Morocco and Ghana will also be making monetary policy decisions this week and next week. But they are somewhat more cautious. They are still facing some inflationary risk and commentators expect that they will keep real interest rates positive and relatively high to support their exchange rates.